one rule of engagement in interpreting the scripture is you must keep your experiences out of it. No matter what you have gone through in life, no matter what you are still going through in life and how you come out of it, if it has to do with the scripture interpretation, keep it one corner. Yes, sir. Don't subject the Bible to your experiences, mm. but subject your experiences to the Bible. Yes, you will sir. see where people make the mistake of trying to adjust Bible to suit their experiences. Ah. Of using their own experiences to interpret the Bible. Mm. For instance, a man went through a particular season of his life or a problem. Then he fasted for three days yes. and he didn't get answers. So he decided to stretch it, to fast for 21 days. Yes, then he had a breakthrough in the midst of the prayer. Then the man now come and they explain, trying to interpret the Bible, that for you to come out of your situation, for you to come out of the problem, you need to fast for 21 days. Mm. And he has no chapter to, <laughs> to back it up. He has no verse to yes, back sir. it up. So because he had a breakthrough when he was on 21, one day's fast. So he's trying to read the scripture to see if he can be able to find anything that will, you know, you know, agree with his yes, own yes. experiences yes, or pushing it for people to fast for 21 days mm. before they can come out of situations. One thing you must know about the Bible, Bible is, is a book yes, that sir. many have written books out of it and it's still the word of God. Mm. Listen, most of the times when you want to adjust the Bible to suit what you want to say. Bible may seem to suit what you are saying. Yes, sir. Yes, Mark sir. my word. Yes, sir. It may seem, it may it look may, like yes, sir. it's in agreement with what you're saying. With what you're saying. Sometimes, even if you want to use the word of God and divorce your wife and marry another person's wife, you may find Bible mm. Mm. <laughs> for you. Yes, in sir. your own interpretation, yes, that may be supporting you. Yes, sir. Leave your experiences out of it. Yes, is, the, is it good to fast and pray? Yes, yes sir. sir. Is it in the Bible to fast and pray? Yes, yes sir. sir. Is there how many days prescribed in the scripture that you must fast? I have not seen one. People fast one day yes, sir. and they get results. Jesus said, this can go with not except by praying and fasting. It's clear that we fast. There's no revelation that can remove fasting and prayer. Yes. But what we're saying, somebody say, okay, if you want to have breakthrough in the spirit, pray, pray by 12 mm. in the midnight. Mm. And because you pray by 12 in the midnight and you have breakthrough. Sir, let me, let me tell you something. 12 in the midnight here is not 12 in the midnight in America. Yes, sir. Somebody say, pray, you must pray 3 a.m. You must pray 12 in the midnight. That's when witches move. We don't pray because witches are moving. Mm. Because there's no time witches are not moving. Yes, sir. The victory we have in Christ, whether they like, let them move by 12 or move in the night. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And let me tell you, there's no human being on earth that maintains a particular time every day without breaking this. Because one day you'll be traveling. Why are you on board? Ah. The 12th in your ah. midnight where you're coming from. Yes, sir. <laughs> True. So before you preach that, before you interpret that 12 in the midnight and try to say it was this, it was this. I'm not talking, there's nice season. Yes. But don't build it like a doctrine. You can tell people, wake up in the midnight is good. Don't make it a doctrine. Mm. Don't make it a, a doctrine. doctrine. Don't subject the word of God and make it look like anybody who doesn't wake up 12 in the midnight is normal life. Mm. Midnight prayer is good because you prayed, you, you did 12 midnight in uh, two weeks and you had a breakthrough then you push it to everybody mm -hmm. if you want to have a breakthrough 12 in the midnight 12 in the midnight mm -hmm. you know what you are preaching you are preaching your experience yeah yeah you are, you are using your experience you are making you you just want to adjust bible to agree with your experience and you now start saying jesus prayed in the night night is night did you meet jesus and he told you that there was no night he slept so you live your experiences yes. 